Hi, welcome to another uh, unboxing and review. This time it's for a laser distance measure I um, picked up off um, Amazon. Um, so without further ado, let's uh, do the unboxing. So that's the laser measure. You get three AAA batteries. the instruction manual, um, a carry pouch which uh, has a belt mounting and also a, uh, a hand strap. So on to the buttons and the functionality. Um, the F, uh, the FONC button that uh, switches between uh, distance measurements, area measurements and volume measurements. The max min allows you to um, calculate or store your uh, maximum and minimum measurements. Um, that button there, uh, long press switches uh, units. So at the moment it's set to meters M. Hold that down. That switch to inches. Feet feet and inches and back to meters also um, you can set uh, the reference point for the uh, the measurement so you can either have them um, coming from the rear of the device which uh, which is how I uh, tend to measure because I butt the back up against um, whichever surface I'm measuring from uh, to to the target um, if that's not convenient, you can set the measurements to be calculated from the front. Um, the way that you do that is you short press that button and the arrow um, changes to indicate to what the reference point is. Um, that one's the memory recall button, so you can um, store and recall up to uh, 99 groups of measurements. Uh, that's the uh, the off button. Um, that one uh, long press uh, turns the beep off. I prefer the beep uh, on because uh, it gives you um, an audible uh, clue that uh, the measurement uh, has been taken. And the plus minus. Um, I just clear that so short press on that puts it into plus minus now this is useful um, if say for instance you got um, a, a few pieces of wood which you don't want to measure individually but you want to, or you want to measure out sections um, say uh, a meter and then a meter and a half um, so you can uh, get this to um, basically um, measure and total up the whole thing so you don't have to uh, calculate um, what the overall uh, length was so if i demonstrate that press once so that'll take the first measurement now if i do another measurement so that should if i change the measurement slightly so the last measurement was 1.549 and the the running uh, total is that. So if I take another measurement, and so that basic keeps uh, keeps a running uh, total like that. That's useful if you're measuring out um, things in sections, but you want the overall length at the end. Uh, one more thing that um, I like about this is. Um, it's actually got a um, the ability to measure angles if you notice there uh, that should be pretty close to zero because this is lying um, flat on the ground now if I um, if I lift this slightly you'll notice the uh, angle changes and as I lift it uh, higher and higher 
um, or indeed uh, start to bring that down, that uh, that indicates the angle that uh, I've got um, the measure at. So it's like an inclinometer, if you like, and uh, that is uh, that is actually um, quite a useful function. Um, I don't have this on any of my other um, laser measures, so I will uh, definitely make use of that because I've got separate um, uh, inclinometers. Uh, the last uh, function I wanted to demonstrate on this was the uh, the continuous uh, measure mode. Uh, I'll set it into continuous measure mode and so that now is on continuous measure. So uh, this is useful if say for instance you're measuring out um, a distance. So you want to measure out say one and a half meters. So you keep uh, dragging this back or forward according to um, what what distance you're actually trying to measure out. Um, so that's continuously uh, measuring out. A bit like um, pulling out um, and retracting a, um, a metal measuring tape uh, if you want to visualize that. Uh, 